Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned about adjacent angles, we are going to talk about linear pair. This is another interesting pair of angles. So a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Now by now you already know what are adjacent angles. Now let us try to understand what are opposite rays. Now we all know ray. Ray is that part of a line which extends only in one direction. So other direction, other side is fixed but the this end is extending infinitely. So that's a ray. So when we say opposite rays, that means two rays which are extending in the opposite directions. Somewhat like this. So these are opposite rays. Whereas if you have two rays which are extending in the same direction, then they are non-opposite rays or you can say they are the rays extending in the same direction. Right? So that way we have opposite rays meaning the two rays in exactly opposite direction to each other. Okay, now let us try to understand the definition of linear pair. So linear pair are two such angles which are adjacent. That means which are located side by side. They should satisfy all the criteria to become adjacent. At the same time, their non-common sides are opposite rays. Now when you think of any uh, adjacent angles, let us look at this example. So do you think that this angle 1 and this angle 2 are adjacent? Yes, of course, because they have a common vertex, which is the common vertex. This point is the common vertex. They also have a common arm. That common arm is this arm, right? So this is the common arm. This is the common vertex. So which are the non-common sides? So this is the common side, right? So the remaining side is this one and the remaining side for angle 2 is this one. So these are the non-common sides. And when you look at the non-common sides, these are rays which are opposite rays. They are actually extending in the opposite direction. Opposite means it needs to be exactly opposite. Now if two rays are exactly opposite to each other, what would be the angle formed between them? The angle formed between them, this angle would be nothing but a straight angle that is 180 degrees. So two opposite rays will always form an angle of 180 degrees. Now in this case, we say that angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. So linear pair would mean that basically the two angles will be adjacent plus the non-common sides need to be opposite rays. That is, they also need to make an angle of 180 degree. So based on this, what do we see? In order to become a linear pair, two angles should satisfy these two conditions. They should be supplementary, that is, sum of the two angles should be equal to 180 degree. So as you can see here, so these two conditions are satisfied. First condition is that angle 1 plus angle 2 should be equal to 180 degree. And the second condition is that angle 1 and angle 2 should be adjacent angles. So if these two conditions are satisfied, then the two angles are said to be linear pair. Now why are they called linear pair? Now the term linear means a line. So two angles forming a line. So here you can see angle 1 and angle 2 together form a straight line. And that is why they make a straight angle. So that is why they are called linear pair. Now let us look at some of the examples and check which is linear pair and which is not. So let us look at the first one. So do you think this is a linear pair? So this angle, let's call it angle 1. And let us call the other angle, angle 2. So do you think they are linear pair? Yes, because they are adjacent. They have a common vertex. They have a common arm. They do not have common interior points. So angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent. What about supplementary? Now angle 1 plus angle 2 together form a straight line that is 180 degrees. So angle 1 plus angle 2 is also equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, yes, they form a linear pair. Let's look at this one. 
So here also if you look at this, let's call this angle 1, let's call this angle 2. So here also it is exactly the same thing. They both lie in a straight line. So they form 180 degrees. They also have a common vertex, a common arm and no common interior points. Therefore here also, yes, they form a linear pair. Let's look at the third example. So here you have angle 1 and angle 2. Now when you look at the sum of angle 1 and angle 2, now this is an obtuse angle and this is an acute angle and let's say that they satisfy this criteria that is the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degree. But do you think that they are adjacent? Do they share a common vertex? No. So the vertex for angle 1 is this and the vertex for angle 2 is this. So we can say that there are no common vertex. Now since there are no common vertex, therefore angle 1 and angle 2 are not adjacent. Now if they are not adjacent, they cannot be linear pair as well. Because in order to become linear pair, they must be adjacent and they should also be supplementary. So what about this one? Here you have angle 1 and angle 2. Now of course these are adjacent because they have a common vertex, they have a common arm, there are no common interior points. So definitely angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent. What about their sum? Now, do you think that the rays are exactly opposite to each other? This is one ray, this is another ray. Now had had you been thinking of a ray which is running exactly opposite to each other, the ray would have been somewhat like this. But here it is like this. Therefore, in this case, angle 1 plus angle 2 do not make a straight line. Therefore, they do not, the sum is not equal to 180 degrees. So here also both the conditions are not satisfied. Therefore, 1 and 2 do not form a linear pair. Let us look at the last example. So here you have angle 1 and angle 2. So in this case also angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent because of the common vertex, common arm, no common interior points. But when you look at their sum, do you think that their sum is equal to 180 degrees? No, because very distinctly you can see that it is an obtuse angle which is less than 180 degrees. So therefore this would also be a no. So this also doesn't form a linear pair. So in this way you will have to find out whether two angles form linear pair or not. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.